All right, I'll just get a little closer look. Looking closer can help sometimes get a better idea of what's going on in here. Two, it's just strange how it's set up. I don't understand kilns very well. Holes in various places. No graffiti. Huh. State the obvious. Yeah, it's a very foresty trail going up. Kind of well worn, not too wide, but very, very nice and shady from the natural growth. All right, I can start getting glimpses, glimpses down on the city. Still a bit more to go. The flag's pretty big. It almost looks like we can walk right up to it though. Wow, what a view. See all that traffic. This is what you climb up for. Almost touch the flag and get a different angle of the city on the second hill. And the rivers and all that. Apparently you can see a lake, lake something, whatever it's called. I think that's a cop. I want to get a view of this. It's pretty cool. So the ferry's in. I think this might be the old entrance and it was disrupted by the road so it's hard to say where this is going or if this takes me to the bottom all the way or not <clears throat> so Kiwana sponsored these are kind of new okay they talk about the original and uh, the original went straight down this way and it's all beat up and overgrown. They wanted to let it go. Wow. And it's disrupted because of the road. And you can see people are living on the shoreline there in trailers. It's a campsite. So Henry David Thoreau likely would have entered on that, that busted up side. If that was even a, a built at his time, actually he probably came up fine in his own way. 
they got a really long trail on this bluff. You could definitely get a nice long walk on it. And this is all the rock face that attracted the limestone quarry guys. Hard to say how much they blown, how much they uh, knocked down for building material. And there's some. I think this is. Oh, don't step too close. I think this is uh, uh, some kind of a wastewater plant. North Trail to West Scenic Overlook Quarry Trail to Trailhead. All right. Recommended for <laughs> advanced hikers only. This would be a very nice spot to camp out in the summertime. I think too many people probably pass through. It's in the shade early in the evening. Overlooks the river. Got the bluff. Oh, this is a rock climbing area. <laughs> okay. I see chains dangling. Yeah, right there. They're doing rock climbing exercises out here. It looks really cool. I didn't see any any talk any any signs mentioning rock climbing. It's just kind of something that that people find out uh, on on other in other ways. These posts are probably a part of the quarry. And there's like a hook. This is the second quarry that I've been to that has been turned into a rock climbing place. If, if you aren't paying close attention, this can happen. But further down, we got a little picnic table area. They chained some picnic tables to the trees. Three. That's pretty cool. Jeez. All right, I think I'm over the quarry, and this is another part of it that they've sealed up completely. And I have a spider to serve as a sentry. Yeah, the riverside is nice and quiet because it blocks all the noise from the cars. Now I'm starting to hear them again. I'll have a little closer look here. We're allowed to go a little further down, and I've seen people drive this way. Yeah, I see picnic tables. A little shack. So there is a steam plant. There's something going on over here. Private property. Search and inspect. So all this is private property? Conservation club members only. Might be, should be a dead end I would think. This might be that private road where I saw that under that tunnel bridge that this is the road that it goes to, it says private. But I'm on it. <clears throat> or it's a dead end. Yep, no through traffic, it's a dead end. Wastewater treatment.
I need to look into how does a burp work. How does the body burp? Because it stops on me. I get a burp blockage. And I can't, I can't stand it when it blocks. I still am able to burp. But there's times where I get it blocked. And I don't know why. Why does the, why does the blockage even occur? Why do I even have an ability to, to burp? There's a real disconnect between when the blockage happens and then when I'm able to burp. I, there's, there's something going on there. I've lost the ability uh, there's something I just am missing because I mean when I can't burp I should be able to burp when I can burp I should know why that's happening and I don't it's a real strange city hall real strange connection there for me in this point of my life so according to this I need at least 15 GP 15 satellites before the GPS has, has really good accuracy. Oh, I just lost one. I went from 16 to 15. These red wings constantly look like chili peppers to me. I gotta remember that they're, they're wings. So I guess the reason why they're called red wing is because the Indian chief walked around with a red colored wing. All right, now that I'm getting more comfortable with toasting the sesame seeds and liking the results, I've been sitting on Oh my god, they're expired. <laughs> I've been sitting on these sunflower seeds past expiration date because I just have difficulty eating them. I've probably had them for more than a year. Are they still any good? Well, toasting them will make them taste good, better at least. Yeah, the, de the uh, taste is definitely improved when they're toasted. Smell good, taste good.
look good. Right, so I just said some black convinced me that this spot is not a good spot to be hanging out. As I was just sitting here, they were coming, they approached, and then uh, I watched them, and one just decided to duck down at the front of my car. So I opened up my car door and just stared at them. It was like four, four kids. And he's just like, yo, I'm just getting something. Well, that's not right. Whatever he was doing, it was invading my space, my car space. So that looked sketchy. And so I recorded him a little bit on the, the GoPro. It was kind of pathetic, though. I need a better system for that. I was laying down at the time, so I wasn't set up. I got my cameras up top i'm not prepared i wasn't prepared for that as well as i should be and then <clears throat> uh after they went by i don't know where they're going like there's a, only a campsite i know of and then the back way to maybe some housings i think this might be a sketchy area i had some uh, i think they're drug addicts two young white whites a male white and female white bicycling past and Male got by, I saw the female, and uh, I hear him say, that's something, something that's weird, isn't it? He made the remarks to her, and he, they were, he was looking at me, talking to her, and I'm sure saying weird, like, you know, me, something about me. So, when you see white people who look like they're on drugs, bicycling, poorly dressed, and you see, see black kids, and, and one approaching my car and, and, and doing this fake juke I didn't even look I it didn't look like he even tried to look inside my car he was just he just he lunged at my car and that was a real concern to me that woke me up and and uh I got my my carry my uh concerns on a heightened level now I'm not sticking around here that's two incidents that's enough to convince me not to stick around here, not walk away from my car, especially, and just not stick around in this spot. $10 fine for driving faster than a walk across this bridge. One of the covered bridges. So the warnings on this side too. And uh, the bridge is, bridge is short enough to enforce, and not as busy to enforce that, I'm guessing. Who knows how busy it got. Who knows how many tickets were given. See, there are lights here, so they're lighted up. Yeah, that's pretty neat. All right, so this flag says that this covered bridge is Minnesota's only covered bridge. They're more big in Iowa, the next, the border city. All right, this game I've been I've seen in uh, many others, uh, not many cities, other cities. Yeah, they explain it. Nope, they don't explain it. Um, there was one city that actually had a sign explaining what this game is. They didn't do that here. So that Eagle Project is a little incomplete. Because they did, they they could have also made a little sign to explain what how to do that game, and then next to it, 
They got an old jail. Oh my god, that's small. It had to be really short term to be cooped up in something so small. Can't even see the guy next to you. It's likely, well, it could. they might put two people in each side. This might be a four-man jail with the way they were treating people back in the old days. Okay, back to the covered bridge or some information that's interesting. So it's been moved a couple of times to the fairgrounds and then here. 1869. So I think I found a good spot to park overnight. Right near the quick trip on the side of the road. Take a chance with it. The old Carnegie Library. They moved out of it. Probably for, probably because of a lack of, of uh, the safety feet. No, they do have handicap access. I don't know then. It's a literature place now. Behind the Zamboda Library, this uh, looks like a lot of plugins to me. Four with two each so four times two is eight behind the library next to the covered bridge I wonder if they have a display behind the library or something it's a lot of room back here with nothing going on <clears throat> All right, so humans are really good at draining the water off of farm fields. We've gotten really good at that. So there was a flour mill across the river from me, just over there. And they got all kinds of diagrams of it and history. They do all kinds. It's multi story. It was a big one, kind of. Very sophisticated. They got a picture of it before it fell down. Now it's a bunch of bunch of trees and that's it. Oh, well, there's a little bit left over. Got this concrete. Just, oh yeah, and the concrete over there too. A Little bit of a wall where the water wheel would be. So I ran to a quick trip in a desperate measure to uh, use the bathroom. But when I exited my car, I was at a park, I saw a cop approaching. They didn't give chase, but uh, I wonder if they were on patrol, if they were called this early in the morning. I have my concerns that they might have stopped at my car. They might be doing a little investigating. Hey, we got an official Lando Licks butter factory here. That's cool. Next to the quick trip. And also this building is saying it's a farrier. They've got, they sell farrier supplies. Farrier activity is gotten kind of popular around on on TikTok talk on TikTok at least according to my my feeds I've been getting quite a few hits maybe because I'm spending some extra time watching it or something 
and I really don't watch it a whole lot. Oh my god. The community gardens got video surveillance. I think this is the first I've seen that, that warning. Yeah, you gotta be pretty fit to live in your car, because, and to try to save money, because uh, I bicycled about, well, it's 0.4 miles, half mile or so, to use the bathroom to go number two. I saw on the maps, the Google Maps, where I parked, it said that the, li the, the park had bathrooms, but they're locked at this time. <clears throat> so I had to look on my, look in the maps again to see where the closest possible place was. And quick trip, 24 hour gas station pretty good yeah there's well there's nothing around my car and there's somebody else parked in the parking lot too so it can't be unusual for people to park here there's somebody else already here and I checked the electricity at the shelter I like to yeah, they have good electricity so bathroom uh, is within a half mile there's electricity there's water that's all I need really. I don't absolutely need to get over to the library with my laptop at least. I can travel lightly. Just do the heavy, heavy use stuff here. All right, I got this vest where the uh, zipper broke, and so I'm going to sew another zipper on the zipper. I didn't want to cut the old zipper off. It's only the first one. If I had to sew a third zipper on later, then I would probably remove both zippers or something. But I like the extra extension. Get just that extra bit of room, because this is a kind of a tight, tight vest. This is a crazy leaf floating all over. Alright, it looks like these shoes have had it. <laughs> I gotta try to glue them down. Hope that works. That's a pretty bad breakage already. The other one's doing, yeah, the other one's giving too a little bit.